By the end of this video, I will have you convinced not only that Jake Paul is a decent fighter, but also that Sean Strickland would absolutely kill him in a real fight. But why am I even talking about a UFC fighter who used to be the middleweight champion of the world and an influencer? Well, the reason why is because recently, Sneeko got beat up by Sean Strickland. Who's Sneeko? An influencer. He's an influencer on Rumble, used to be YouTube, got banned off of there for saying some things that YouTube didn't like, and now streams exclusively on Rumble. Rumble just seems to be a decent platform from what I can see. It just uh, is basically like Twitter for YouTube. But with that being said, this is what happened. Hello? I mean, you can just see from this 15 minutes that he's getting destroyed the entire way. This basically ends with uh, Sean Strickland and Sneeko being super wholesome and actually Sean Strickland rewarding Sneeko for being an internet troll and actually being able to take a couple punches. And uh, Sneeko eventually kind of saying being Sneeko and not, not saying much of anything. But with that being said, they, they both seem to have a wholesome ending until Jake Paul went ahead and commented this. Sean Strickland, spelled wrong. I just want to say that real fast. That's not how you normally spell Sean. You're embarrassing for trying to stop Sneeko like that. You weren't even able to drop someone with no experience while going all out. You're a horrid boxer that only picks on unexperienced people. I'll fly you to PR and we can fight on camera. If you win, I'll give you one million, half your net worth, which um, UFC fighters are not paid that much is what he's referencing. But if you get dropped, you have to get a better tattooed on you which is his uh, sports betting company, DM me. But just like Patty, I'm guessing you'll find a way to run. Patty Pimblett is another person that uh, Jake Paul has called out actually uh, under Jake Paul's weight. So that it kind of makes sense. Sean Strickland is a little bit closer to Jake Paul's weight, still under um, what Jake Paul fights at. But uh, Sean Strickland basically says, uh, yeah, in a lot of different tweets and Instagram posts and Instagram stories. And uh, he basically says a lot of stuff. I mean, I, I can't read a lot of this. It's it's very riddled with cursing. And you guys know that I don't really like to curse as much as I can on my channel. So uh, with that being said, Sean Strickland agrees. And then uh, at the end, he kind of says this. I want to conclude this. I want you all to understand the phenomenon that is Jake. You're a professional troll. You re fight retired small MMA fighters because you're a troll. But the worst part of it is all is that you're a cancer you inspire people to accomplish nothing to be nothing inspire people to be trolls because you were successful at it successful at it jake paul you might be rich but you're not a man you byproduct of society that has fallen that was a little bit messed up in the grammar so that actually wasn't my fault i'm sorry guys uh your trolls will rally around you and be inspired be like you but understand one thing you and your troll army are not my equals enjoy your virtual world with the understanding that you're a cancer on this country money will never buy your dignity and joy um basically what jake paul says is um you're not gonna fight me um and then he gets uh checked by a <laughs> by the twitter notes uh, he said the or the X notes, and they say uh, Sean Strickland did actually agree to fighting him, instead of ducking the offer, as uh, Jake Paul says. Uh, but you know, w why would Jake Paul want to fight Sean Strickland? I don't know. This is what I have been fighting with for so long against people that hate Jake Paul and people that also love Jake Paul. Jake Paul is an amazing fighter there's no way to get around that idea i'm not the i'm not a big jake paul fan boy i don't follow what he does but i do know that he fights and he trains a lot and he has a lot of money to pay the best trainers which means that he's a good fighter that's just how it works sean strickland also an internet troll though he was pointing at internet trolls and saying that they are a joke he is also an internet troll to a certain degree he says controversial things that's kind of his shtick that's kind of his thing and that's okay uh, honestly i mean like that's his thing he doesn't actually believe what he says it's all for the sake of comedy or at least i hope so and that's all there is to it but why would jake paul who is supposed to be at this level of boxing high level of boxing, wants to be a world champion, has said that he wants to be a world champion, stoop as low to go against a UFC fighter. That doesn't make sense. That doesn't 
that wouldn't work. Why are you constantly banging your head against a wall, proving your haters correct by fighting MMA fighters? I am not a hater, but Jake Paul, fight somebody other than Sean Strickland. Sean Strickland destroyed him on the internet. And he's probably not going to take a fight with Sean Strickland because obviously he can't. There's actual intricacies behind UFC contract deals, and that's the issue. Sean Strickland, even if he wanted to right now to fight Jake Paul, he wouldn't be able to because the UFC has full fight rights to him. They could spar. They could do something like what Sneeko and him did. But if that happened, well, nobody's protected. Nobody's making money. So why would you do it? Why would Jake Paul put his fighting career on the line to... Uh, fight Sean Strickland if he lost his fighting career is over why would Sean Strickland do the same thing if he lost to a youtuber his MMA career is over that's all there is to it especially when you're someone like Sean Strickland that specifically prides himself in being a boxer in MMA now I will also note real quick that um when you are a boxer in MMA you're not an actual boxer you're still fainting kicks. You're still doing other things. The biggest example of that is uh, GSP, who was a jujitsu artist in UFC. When he does jujitsu tournaments outside of MMA, he gets clapped. He gets destroyed. There's video proof of these things. The whole point is that MMA, boxing are very different things. And Jake Paul needs to get it through his head and stop fighting retired or MMA fighters in general. Why would you fight an MMA fighter? It doesn't make sense. That's all my opinions I have on this video. Go ahead and come to streams on Fridays and Sundays. See you B-dubs later.